Early in 2010, South Gloucestershire Council dredged the Streamside Walk floodplain, as reported previously. This naturally beautiful location had mud and rubbish piled along the stream bank. Traffic cones were set alongside the mud piles as though to give warning to passers-by. Vegetation was stripped from the two thin islands between the water channels. works converted the place into an eyesore. I made a freedom of information request to South Gloucestershire Council. Apparently the dredging was standard practice to keep the stream flowing. I think a stream will find its own natural adaptation to conditions and the development of a floodplain is one example. Interfering with that will cause additional erosion. Anyway, South Gloucestershire Council consulted three other bodies. Thornbury Town Council is jointly responsible for Streamside Walk, but this lowest tier of local government is hardly likely to have engineering expertise. With respect to South Gloucestershire's own drainage teams, a man-made drain is different from a natural stream. I doubt their appropriate knowledge also. As for the Environment Agency, I really find it hard to believe that it was consulted. The Environment Agency is opposed to dredging, as this information leaflet shows. Within a few months of the dredging, the water once more was passing sluggishly through the floodplain area, as is natural. Silt build-up was noticeable.
and the whole area was looking decidedly unhealthy. The dredging took place in February. Almost two months later, when I first became aware of it, the site was a mess. Three months after the action, South Gloucestershire Council had still not made a decision about the removal of the dredged material. However, some material was shifted in early May. Supposedly, it was too close to the tree. Quite what negative effect on the tree the dredged material had was not stated. It was alleged that the traffic cones warned the public of the mud pile, as though it wasn't conspicuous enough already. It was fairly clear what would happen to the cones. Later in the month of May, the cones were no longer there. I suspect council employees tired of removing them from the stream. I was concerned about erosion of the area, especially following the stripping of vegetation. It was claimed that nothing had been done to the islands. I guess the vegetation there just magically vanished. see the colour of the water after heavy rain on the 8th of June 2010 and decide for yourself about erosion.
also compare these two statements. When challenged that the Environment Agency is against dredging, the Council asserted that it had not dredged the stream. It was only maintenance, not dredging, so it was set. It must be just a coincidence that the actual maintenance works fall within the definition of dredging. I am unconvinced that the dredging was not harmful to local wildlife. The increased turbidity of the water is self-evident. No light can pass through the suspended solids and the oxygen level of the water must have fallen dramatically. In May, the Council hoped to have the dredge material removed very soon. I think it was probably removed in late August or early September, so six months afterwards. It seems hard to relate the idea of routine maintenance with so much delay in shifting the mud. All in all, this action seemed unnecessary. It converted an area of natural beauty into one of appalling ugliness. As far as I know, this matter was not reported in any of the conventional local media. Thank you.